Hello again, peeps. Thank you for clicking on the video. Today's video is going to be all about shooting sticks and a, um, a kind of guide to them, pros and cons, things like that. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, please stay tuned. Right, so the first one that I want to talk about is the set of sticks that I've got first, or mono sticks, should I call it. This is a, a Vanguard, a Quest M62. They retail for about 40 quid. And it features quick lock legs, so you've literally you just got to undo that clamp and then you can extend it to wherever you want. And um, it has a nice foam, uh, comfortable like grip, and it comes with like a lanyard strap and a carabiner so that you can just kind of throw it over your shoulder and you know carry it that way and not have to worry about actually holding it until you're ready. Um, a really good feature about these sticks, which is what kind of sold me about them, is the fact that they, uh, they double up as like a kind of walking stick, so while you're out on you know, walks around the countryside or whatever, you can use it as just a general walking stick. And if you wanted to, you could also fit like a compact, you know, DSLR or what have you on top and use it as like a kind of camera stick as well, in order to steady your shots that way. And then what you can then also do, hang that there, is um, you can also then fit it to something like this. So this is just a general box standard kind of like um, tripod for cameras. that onto a tripod and have a sturdy rest that way instead so the sticks kind of come with a good few features um, some bad things about it though is um, it's not very stable you know if you're up on the sticks and you're using a heavy rifle or even a light rifle um, the wind can cause you to, to blow around quite a lot and um, and for that, I, I didn't use these for very long. You know, I found myself looking for something else pretty quickly. And um, they're okay for what they are, but they definitely, they're not great. You need more support, really, when you're, you're hunting. So the next thing I want to talk about is the thing I went on to next, which was a set of these, like the old beast sticks. Um, you can make these yourself. You can pick them up in like garden centers and stuff, the bits that you need for them. So it's just general garden cane with some like kind of duct tape wrapped around just to kind of protect your rifle and then there's a, um, a bolt and some washers like you know drilled through and then that obviously allows them to, to extend and scissor and what have you. Um, you can make them to any height you want and the parts cost me about 10 quid and they're really lightweight and they are sturdy but I found that when you're trying to pan around a field so due to the, the design of them and the scissor action you can't scan very far before it gets tight on your rifle and sometimes in some cases it can leave marks on your stock as well so again I didn't use them for very long and um, the next thing I purchased was these about 30 quid and um, they're quite good they can be used on uh, any type of rifle because of the, the support it's not rigid it allows the rifle to recoil naturally so I've even used these to zero things like a TX200 and then gone out and had a successful rabbit hunt with them. So they are good, but one thing I noticed, I'll just put this away. <laughs> uh, the design in order to extend the legs is like a twist action. And if you go too far, you perhaps see there, there's like a, uh, a stop sign. But if you don't notice that and in, you know, in like a rush or a hurry, you, you pull the leg all the way out it can then be quite a pain in order to get that back in and in most cases I found by the time you did and you got set up um, your quarry had disappeared on you so if you're in like a kind of static overwatch type hunt um, you know once you've got them set up they're great you know they're there where they need to be but if you're moving around and stalking due to the lay of the land you're going to need to make adjustments to the legs all the time so they're good but at the same time they also have their flaws but you know, I, thought, I found them to be very affordable and they've also they've served me well. I've, I've had successful hunts with these, so I'm not knocking them too far, but again, I did end up wanting something else. So the next thing I um, invested in was a set of these. Quite well, recently, actually, I, I, I got my trigger sticks before that, but I just want to show these in a bit of detail. Uh, basically, they're quad sticks. Again, like the... Um, the V ones or the scissor ones, um, you can make these yourself. You can get the parts from a garden centre for about 30, 40 quid. And um, they offer a serious amount of support for your rifle. I mean, I can, I can zero my rifle on these 
and you know be really com confident that I've I've set the, the scope to a, a good degree and um, they you know they take a little bit of practice to get used to they can be a bit fiddly and awkward at first but once you've mastered them they offer the absolute best support out of everything else I've got here hands down you know you can get them set up and once they are they're great if I just kind of demonstrate how to do so appreciate it it's not rocket science but basically the sticks are all packed up like that you're walking around the permission you see something you want to shoot and you think right and then all you have to do is literally do that and then try and locate your target in the v's of the sticks and then by the time that you have um, you've put your rifle up on top you know you're pretty much looking where you need to be and then all you have to do then is adjust height by lifting up this front stick and rocking them backwards and forwards until you've found where you need to be and then you know if you just set the weight forward a little bit you can even walk away from this I mean I've, you know caution's advised when you do but you know it leaves you with hands free you're able to range find or you know check your phone or what have you so I found these sticks to give the best support out of everything I've tried so far but there is a slight learning curve to getting any good with them and then Lastly, or so second from last, obviously, like I said, another cheap option. I'll just move these. Another cheap option, or you can go down the road, you can go down for supporting your rifle, is just getting yourself a bog standard tripod. And then, if you've got things like a video, you can attach that to the top. And then, that's a fairly half decent way of supporting your rifle if you're, you know, if you're running low on funds. And that was another option I dabbled with for a, you know, a few months one summer. And, but, you know, again, a bit like the story with these, you, you'll find yourself adjusting them all the time where it will be set perfect in one place. You'll then give up there and walk around and you'll set your rifle down and it will be too high, too low, or so you, you then have to make adjustments. But like the mono stick, these come with like a nice quick release clamp. I think that system's the best if you're going to go down this type of route. You don't want one where it's twisting and you can pull the leg off and all the rest of it because that's just going to cause our sake that nobody needs. So I do like that quick release lock option. And then, <coughs> excuse me, the last thing I just want to talk about is these. Um, I won't go into too much detail because they've been around for a long time now and if you want to see a review on these trigger sticks, there's plenty on YouTube already. But these things, I found them to be, you know, top notch. They're worth their weight in gold really. You know, just a little feature about them, they also level, so if you're on a hill and you want this to be upright, all you do is pull the trigger and these will stop when they hit the ground, which will then cause this to remain upright. So, a little bit of practice, is, you know, you need to use them a little while before you get really steady on them, but I'm able to take shots out to like 40, 50, 60 metres on these now. In fact, the furthest shot I've ever taken off of these sticks is at 50 metres, and it was a bit of a scorcher of a shot, I must admit. Um, you'll see that in, uh, in another video coming up soon as I recorded it but you know um, they're stable but you do still need to have a little bit of practice with them because you'll, you'll find yourself at first kind of wobbling around a bit but eventually you'll, you'll get in the swing and you'll, you know, you'll be happy with them um, I just want to showcase this quickly because this is a little attachment that you can buy in addition to these sticks um, and I just want to advise people not to bother you know, these sticks themselves were about 80 odd quid. They were Gen 2, I've had them about a year, or what have you. So they are about, about 80 quid at the time. And this here was 40 quid. So like with the mono stick, you can unscrew the V-yoke and then put this on in its place. And then you've got two points of contact to support your rifle. Um, but as I said, unless you're using a really lightweight rifle, I just wouldn't bother with these because you're still only attached to this thin little kind of like thread in here. So they kind of wobble and move around a bit. And I don't know, I'm struggling to find a use for them really other than to just talk about them in this video and, you know, occupy space in my gun cupboard because other than that, I, I put them on. First time I used them, I was like, hey up, that ain't all that good, you know? And I actually just reverted back to just using them bog standard. It's less, less faff on top. So, you know, kind of all these sticks have got pros and cons to them, but if I could advise anybody who's looking for an option to stable their rifle while they're out in the field, to either perhaps look at these, if you can afford them, because they're great at night time, they're great in the day, they're great if your, your permission's unlevel, you know, they, they seem to tick all the boxes. The only downside to them is that they're very expensive. 
So if you can't afford them, but you still wish to stable your rifle while you're out shooting, and this might be your best option because both sticks can be used for just about either application you could think of, but one seems to kind of do it better than the other. So in my experience, if I'm out on a day shoot, and you know, I've got all the time in the world and all the visibility to get set up, I'd take these because they offer the best stability out of everything I've got here. But, you know, for nighttime use, you know, say if you're in a horse's paddock and there's divots everywhere and you want to get set up on a nice level ground, you know, using these in the dark can be a bit, a bit awkward, whereas these, it's just a case of pulling the trigger and you're up and on the sticks and away you go. So, in, in my opinion, the best, the best thing to do to have the best of both worlds would be to invest in a set of either of these and have both. Uh, eventually, um, but to say everything else I've showcased is good, you know, it works, um, they have their pros and they have their cons, but in my opinion, from a few years of experience now, these are the two you want you, you want to go with, they offer the best support, the best ease of use, you know, they're both silent to operate, um, they're not going to wind you up in the way that they operate, like them would, for example, you know, you pull the leg off of one of them and your rabbit runs off, that's your day done, isn't it? If you, certain people that can really wind them up and it, it does me so it's why I've got all this expanse of sticks behind me I no longer use and I've just settled on these two now so if you found the video interesting and helpful could you please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already could you please subscribe to my channel if you would like to purchase a set of quad sticks like the ones featured in the video please don't hesitate to contact either myself Dan Burnup or Steve Kessel via Facebook. Thank you.